Good evening, this is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here with the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.14 in the evening on Friday, February 19th, 2021. And we'll go straight to our uh, map of current earthquakes. In the last 24 hours, we got a, a 5.6 earthquake in the Aleutian Islands here in Adak, Alaska. Adak, Alaska, 5.6 there. And I believe we got a 5.6 down here somewhere. There's uh, in Vanuatu. 5.6 there, and then we got a significant 4.2 in Oklahoma. But the largest quake was a 5.6 up here in uh, Adak, Alaska. And in our forecast areas, we had a forecast area here is in Japan. We have much of these cities here in Japan are in our forecast. And the largest was this one here, it was a 5.0. It was east of Aomori, northeast of Morioka. And we'll get into that in just a second. Also in California, the largest quake was a 3.0 here near Ridgecrest. And uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So first of all, here's the uh, forecast from yesterday's forecast. We had a 3.5 in Mammoth Lakes, which was at 100%. The risk is still high there in Mammoth Lakes. And this 5.0 earthquake here, we showed you back here in northeast Japan was uh, east of Aomori and northeast of Morioka. Uh, Aomori was at 15%, Morioka was at 40%. And the uh, 3.0 earthquake hit in the Ridgecrest area, which was at 90%. So uh, today's forecast uh, for the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. Uh, again, in Italy, still very high risk in Italy, northern Italy from central Italy up to Bologna, and then over to uh, Zagreb, Croatia. Very high risk in that northern Italy area, expecting uh, 4.5 to 5.5 in the next uh, 24 hours there. And you can see Mexico City has uh, risen to 97%. Yesterday it was at uh, 95%. And Guatemala was uh, is 85 today, and it was uh, 77 yesterday. El Salvador was 76 and it's up to 84%. So <clears throat> Central America, the risk is rising mostly in Western uh, Central America. And it looks like we could have a 5.5 uh, a to 6.5, about a 6.0 in uh, Southern Mexico, um, most likely near Mexico. You can see at 97% here. Also Puerto Rico, yesterday the risk in uh, Puerto Rico was at 79. And the risk in Puerto Rico is at 82 now today. So the risk is uh, rising in uh, Puerto Rico. The Philippines, I believe, is also rising. Let's see. Philippines was a 61 yesterday and is up to 80% uh, today. In California, uh, the risk yesterday in uh, Ridgecrest was 90. And today, the Ridgecrest, Ridgecrest is 85. So it fell slightly after those couple of those earthquakes, the 3.5 and the 3.0. And uh, Portland, Oregon went from 85% uh, up to 90%. So it looks like something's ready to brew and pop up there in uh, Eureka, Northwest California to Portland, Oregon. So uh, 5.0 larger is possible in that area. Mammoth Lakes is still very high at 100%. So something significant, uh, 5.0 larger is likely in that area as well. And let's see, El Centro in the south, 50% uh, and then 40%. Uh, so kind of falling off there. Santa Maria is 65 today. It was uh, 45 yesterday, so rising there. So you can kind of take a look at the forecast every day and, and uh, see where the risk is rising, where it's falling. Most likely in California is in Mammoth Lakes and uh, Northwest uh, Oh, that was yesterday. Northwest California, Eureka up to Portland, Oregon. So a significant earthquake is possible there in Mammoth Lakes. Over in Japan, the risk uh, was mostly in Totori and Kyoto yesterday, and the risk is rising in Osaka and Kyoto today. So um, we had those a strong 7.0 earthquake up near uh, Fukushima, and Sendai, Japan, which is now at 40 and 55%. Um, 
Now the risk is shifted down to uh, Western Japan in uh, Kyoto and Osaka, which is southwest of Tokyo and north of uh, Hiroshima. Hiroshima is high at 85% as well. So looking for something strong there. Once again, a review of the forecast, uh, Italy, uh, 5.0, 4.5 to 5.5 is likely in Northern Italy over to uh, Zagreb, Croatia. Cyprus, which is south of Turkey, also could get uh, 5.0 larger. And Mexico City could get a 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake. Mexico City south to uh, Guatemala during the next 24 hours. And uh, Mammoth Lake still very high and Eureka to Portland at very high risk. And again, Western uh, Japan, Kyoto to Osaka is the very high risk there where a 5.0 is possible in that area. Thanks so much for uh, subscribing and following our forecast here at quakeprediction.com. And you can get more details at quakeprediction.com. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I've been looking at the, the data and the signals coming uh, in the last 24 hours. Looks like uh, something really strong uh, in Southern California during the next uh, week and a half or so. We'll give you more details as we get closer to that. Uh, but right now the risk remains out in East Central California near Mammoth Lakes and in Northwest California near Eureka up to Portland, Oregon. All right, thanks again. And uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow night. Thank you again and have a great uh, weekend coming up. We'll talk to you again on Saturday night, Saturday Night Live. Uh, here at quakeprediction.com. Thanks so much again, and we'll talk to you tomorrow night. Thanks.